WTW presents Sesame Street, show 2083, produced at Reeves Teletape. Oscar, that's awfully cheerful for you. I know, but that's because I decided I like saying hello. It makes me happy. Now, why would saying hello make you happy? You're a grouch. Well, when I say hello, I'm thinking that before long, I'll be saying goodbye. So that makes me happy. I get it. For each hello, there's a goodbye. For each good morning, there's good night. For every buenos dias, there's adios. You greet, you laugh, you play, it seems you barely get to start. And before you know it, we part. For how'd you do, there's cheerio. For howdy partner, there's the moose. For every good to see ya, there's so long chum. You greet, you laugh, you play, it seems you barely get to start. And before you know it, we part. For each hello, there's a goodbye. For each hello, there's a goodbye. Well, Susan, what do you think? Uh, goodbye, Oscar. See what I tell you? <laughs> goodbye. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. John, John? Could you uh, count uh, to uh, ten? Yeah. Hmm? I want to count it. I want to count backwards. Okay, count backwards for me. One, two, three, four, uh, John, John. five. What? Uh, John, John. You know what? What? That's not really counting backwards. See, see, you count up to ten. Go ahead. Go ahead. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now that's counting up to ten. Forward. See, now we want to count from ten to one. Backwards, okay? Now here's how we do that. We go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. A four, thank you. Three. A three, three. Two. Two, two. Let me finish it up, okay? Let me, the, the, the last one is, uh... 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 uh what is it? Uh, what, what's the last one? I don't know. Uh, one! Yeah, one! Yeah! One. Great. Wonderful. That was good. Carrots. Potatoes. Lettuce. Turnips. 
tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, celery, green beans, carrots, potatoes, Citați mai first day on the job as elevator operator. I cannot wait to take someone upstairs on the elevator so I can count the numbers on the different floors. Aha, here comes someone now. Oh, hi there. Uh, could you take me up to the... Count, is it you? Yes. Well, well, what are you doing here? I am the new elevator operator. Ah, ah, I got the job this morning. Wonderful. Uh, yes, and I'm going to love it because I get to count the floors. Ah, oh, well, uh, listen, uh, could you take me up to the seventh floor? Ah, uh, at last. Walk this way. Okay. Into the elevator. Watch your step, please, going up. Mm -hmm. Starting at one and going up. That's two, two floors. Three, three floors. Four, four floors. Five, five floors. Six, six floors. Seven floors. Eight uh, floors. Uh, uh, wait a Nine second, Count. I, I wanted to get off on the seventh ten, floor. That's wait, ten uh, floors. Listen, I love it. <laughs> uh, Count, uh, uh, I wanted uh, uh, to get off on the seventh floor. I'm sorry, Kermit. Oh, but I could not stop till I reached the top. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, would, would you please take me back down to the seventh floor, please? Well, of course, that's my job. Yes, it is your job. Starting at ten and going down. Okay. Nine. Mm -hmm. Eight. Seven. Uh, this is it. Six. No, 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 you went part five, of the seventh floor again. Listen, Cal. Will you stop this elevator? Three, the, uh, two. Oh, can I run one. this elevator myself uh, uh, if you uh, want? Uh, I love it. Wait. Oh, no. it's uh, oh, be be careful, careful. Ah. <laughs> oh, but wait. Kermit, you're angry with me. Yes, I'm angry. But why? Because you were supposed to stop at the seventh floor. Why? Well, because that's what elevator operators do. They're supposed to take people to whatever floor they want to go to in the building. They are? Yes! And I, and I wanted to go to the seventh floor! Oh, but, but that is no problem. Yeah. I know how to get you to whatever floor you want to go in the building, and I can still count all the floors without stopping. Ah, oh, ah. oh, yeah? How? I will take the elevator, and you can hop up the stairs. The stairs? Bye-bye. I have to hop in my trench coat? One. Hop, hop, hop. Gibbon. Like to buy you. Well, what do you want to use it for? I'd like to use it for the word up. Well, I have this you, but it's a used one. What has it been used for? Why, it's been used for words like until, umbrella, under, uncle, ugly, and underwear. Will it work for up? Well, if you put this P with it, it will. Up. Ah. Uh -huh. G. 
Gee, Susan, hmm? that sweater sure is a pretty blue. Oh, why, thank you. Did you hear that? I said to Susan, that sweater is a pretty blue. And she said, thank you. Blue and you rhyme. Sometimes rhyme happen just like that by accident. But now I think I'll make another rhyme by saying, uh, I like your hair too. And when she says, thank you, we've made ourselves another rhyme. <laughs> Here it goes. <clears throat> uh, Susan, hmm? my, I like your hair today too. Oh, well, aren't you sweet, Big Bird? Gee, it didn't work. Hmm, I know. If I say, I think your shoes you're wearing are really neat, and then she'll say, aren't you sweet? Then we'll have another rhyme. <clears throat> Susan, I think the shoes you're wearing are really neat. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Big Bird. That's it. It's not working. Now, Susan... Hmm? I gotta go and see if my laundry is dry. Oh, okay, Big Bird. Bye. Oh, did you hear that? We did it. All right. Dry and buy rhyme. Hey, we did it again. Whoopee. <laughs> Whoopee. Do you know something I don't? <laughs> you do, don't you? I'm serving dinner for nine tonight. We're going to dine by candlelight. I hope everyone brings their appetite. I'm serving dinner for nine tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forks on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine knives on the right. Nine napkins, very neat. Nine placemats, nine seats. Nine salad bowls, nine soup bowls, so there won't be room left for the food. I'm serving dinner in nine courses. I made enough to feed nine horses. <laughs> We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Well, since we're talking about an old woman who lives in a shoe, maybe we could start off with a little soul music. <sighs> oh, <clears throat> uh, hi all, Kermit the Frog here, speaking to you from Wardrobe Street, where today we're going to interview the famous old woman who lives in a shoe. Uh, I'm sure you all know the poem, There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Hmm? Okay, well, we're just going to step up to the door here and see if she's in. Didn't I tell you yesterday I don't want any encyclopedias? Uh, no, no, you don't understand. I'm Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News. Uh, tell me, is the old woman in? Hmm? What old woman? Uh, the old woman who lives in a shoe. Are you kidding? Does this look like a shoe to you? Oh. You ever see a shoe with fingers? Yeah. Four fingers and a thumb. I, I see. Yes, it does sort of look a little bit more like a glove, doesn't it? Mm, exactly. Uh-huh. Well, uh, who are you? I'm the young man who lives in a glove. Figures. Yeah, you know the poem about me, don't you? Uh, well, not offhand. <laughs> a little joke there, folks. Hmm? Uh, well, offhand, anyway, the joke. poem goes like this. Mm -hmm. There was a young man who lived in a glove. If you knocked on his door, he'd give you a shove. Now, scram, oh. frog. Hey, hey, don't, uh, hey, okay, okay, don't, don't, don't wrinkle the coat, okay? Uh. No need to get physical about it. I'll just uh, <laughs> knock on this door over here. <laughs> Gee, that doesn't sound like too many children. It sounds like too many pets. Yes. Uh, Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering, uh, are you the woman who lives in a shoe? Boy, have you got the wrong place. Now, does this look like a shoe to you? Oh, oh I see. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, I see that it's got a crown there mm -hmm. and a brim down Where here and a hat band across there. Hat band, right. uh, then you must be... That's right. I'm the young woman who lives in, in a hat. hat, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't you know the poem about me? Uh, well, not right off the top of my head. <laughs> Another joke there, folks. I see your point. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, there was a young woman who lived in a hat. She could bark like a dog and meow like a cat. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Meow. Uh, meow. Yeah, okay. Meow. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, ruff, uh, ruff. Mm -hmm. uh, down girl, uh, can you tell me where I can find the old woman who lives in a shoe, though? Oh, yeah, she lives down at the next house down there. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. Ruff, ruff, uh, yeah, ruff. fine. Uh, down, meow. down, meow. away. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, Hey, now this is a little more like it. Uh, I think indeed this does indeed look like a shoe. It looks like about a size 59 triple E, I would say. 
You can tell it's a shoe. It's got a uh, toe up there. It has a nice shine on it. Uh, it's got a heel down here and a place up there to put the laces. Uh, I'll just knock on the door and see if she's in. Hey, Frankie! Uh, hey, it's a frog! Uh, hmm? Oh, hi there. Is, is your mother home? Hey, Ma! Hey, Ma! Uh, yes, yes. Uh, hi there. Are, are you the uh, the old woman who lived in the shoe who had so many children she didn't know what to do? That's right, Sonny. Oh, wonderful. I'm Kermit the Frog from Sesame Street News. Oh, terrific. I'm so glad you dropped by. Uh, this is my night for the Great Panthers Bowling League. Yeah. Hey, would you look after the kids until I get back? Uh, huh? uh, okay, now listen. Heather uh, and Johnny, don't fight. Brian, uh, Lisa, Cheryl, don't look at too much TV. Uh, but, and Polly and Kate go to bed when the frog tells yeah, but, uh, you. Listen, okay, I'll be back I, in about hey, two hours. Hey, Wish but, me uh, luck. Uh, it's a 300 night. Yeah, but I always wanted to ask you some hey, questions, hey, ma'am. I was just I trying to do an hey, interview. Hey, uh, listen, oh, what do I do hey, now? Frog. Yeah, but there's so many children here, I don't know what to do. Hey, will you let go of the microphone here? Oh, hey, don't. Come on. Hey, come on. This is from the frog. We turn into your program. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine ants. Nine. Super guy. Teeny little super guy. Hot side up before your eye. He's no bigger than your thumb. Snap your fingers, here I come. I'm stop me if you've heard this one. Don't look in the sky, don't look in the sea. He's inside of you and me. Did I ever tell you about the time? You can't tell a hero by his side. I'm just a teeny little super guy. <laughs> Harry Eckman couldn't get to sleep. It wasn't so much that he couldn't get to sleep, it was more that Harry didn't want to get to sleep. One evening, he came over to my house. I had been sleeping, as was my wont, when I heard Harry pounding on my door. I bade him enter. Huh? When that didn't work, I asked him to come in, and he did. Why have you disturbed my nocturnal bliss? I asked my small friend. Huh? Said Harry. Why'd you wake me up? Because I don't like to go to bed. But you have to go to bed, I said. Because the bed won't come to you. Ha, ha, ha. Excuse me. I don't like to go to sleep at night. And I don't like to take naps either. He intoned. But your body must rest, I preached. Why don't you like to sleep? I'm afraid I'll miss something. I'd rather be outside playing or watching TV or looking at books. I mean, when you're sleeping, you can't do anything else. Aha, uh -huh, the 
if you can, I said, trying to decide what I was going to say next. What else can a kid do when he's asleep? Ah, uh, you can tell yourself a story. A story? Harry asked somewhat skeptically. Yes, and sometimes, just sometimes, when you tell yourself a story before you fall asleep, you can continue that story while you're sleeping. You can dream. I've had dreams before. They're fun and exciting and, and sometimes a little scary. Yes, you can dream about airplanes or submarines or sleds. Dreams can be all of those things. Even when you don't dream, at least you know your body is getting some rest, and that's good for it. So enjoy yourself when you're taking a nap or when you're falling asleep at night. And you know, one of the best things about falling asleep, waking up, because that starts everything off fresh and new. Just remember, sleeping is good for you, and sometimes it can be fun. Uh, good night. Hello. Who said that? Me. Who are you? Guess. What color are you? Yellow. How tall are you? This tall. How many legs do you have? Four. One, two, three, four. Do you have spots? Yes. You're a giraffe. You in a ride. Flip flash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Yeah. Rubbed up, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was all right. Well, I stepped out the tub and put my feet on the floor. I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door. And then a flip flash, I jumped back in the bath. Well, I was out and know there was a party going on. There was a fishing and a flash. Rhythm with the feeling. We give these elephants a bath every day of the year because uh, they do need it, and we use a special shampoo that puts the oils back in their skin that the sun takes out. Do you keep your feet in the bathtub? No. Yeah, we lay them down on one side. We just take two big scrub brushes and we scrub them down behind the ears, underneath the belly. See, it's very helpful for them, and it keeps their toenails soft and keeps their skin soft. <laughs> It's not like washing a car. They have a lot of personality, and each one is different, of course. Big bang, I saw the whole gang. Chasing on my living room rug. Yeah, flip flops, they were doing the bop. All the teens had to dance in bugs. There was a lollipop with a peggy suit. Mr. Molly was a even there to a willa. Splish splash, I forgot about the bear. I went and put my dancing shoes on, yeah. I was a rolling and a rolling, reeling with the feel, moving and a groove, pushing and a splash, yeah. Hey, uh. Excuse me, sir. Could you please direct me to the zoo? Oh, certainly. Um, go? Go. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey, wait! Uh, go where? Go over to Main Street. Go over! Thanks, buddy! <sighs> that elephant just won't listen. Uh, go over what? You want the zoo? Yep. So wait until I finish, okay? Okay. Just go over to Main Street and turn right. You can't miss it. Gee, thanks, pal. It's nice when people listen. Oh, excuse me. Do you know of another zoo? This one isn't taking any more elephants. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Big Bird, hey, uh, what's the rush? Well, I've got a huge list of, of errands I have to do, Gordon. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, see? Uh, Big Bird, that's just the letter L. Oh, I know, but I have to pick up my laundry. Oh, okay, laundry. La laundry starts with the letter L. Then I go to the fix-it shop to pick up my lamp. Lamp, okay, lamp starts with the letter L. Then I go to Looper's to buy lemons, lamb, and lettuce for Maria. Lemons, lamb, and lettuce all start with the letter L. Very good. Right. And I need some oatmeal. Oatmeal? <laughs> Wait a minute, Big Bird. Oatmeal starts with the letter O. I know, but when I make it, it's lumpy. <laughs> Lumpy starts with the letter L. Yep. Yep. Well, see you, Gordon. Okay. L, L, L. I'm bored. So am I. You know what I wish? No, what? I wish a big letter L would drop out of the sky and somebody would ask us if we'd like to hear a story about it. Me too. Would you like to hear a story about the letter L, boys? What took you so long? We thought you'd never ask. Very well. Watch closely. L is for leopard that leaps in a lake and lands on a lion that wasn't awake. L is the lion chasing the leopard and lifting a log, thus scaring a shepherd. L is the leopard that lies on a ledge and laughs as the lion falls on a hedge. Well, boys, that was the story of the letter L. What did you think of it? Interesting. Well seasoned. Provocative. The question is, do you know what the moral of that story is, boys? Yeah. Never leap on a lying leopard. Mmm, peanut butter. A peanut so little. How can you get a big jar of peanut butter out of a little peanut? Takes a lot of little nuts to make a jar of peanut butter. Cause one peanut in a jar really doesn't go too far. Got a crack and shell and mix them. There's no other way to fix them. Takes a lot of little nuts to do the job. Nuts from the bag and start them on that old conveyor. Get them roasted and assorted. Don't have any time to spare. Please don't think I'm being pushy. Make them all real soft and mushy. Takes a lot of little nuts to do the job. A little salt, a little sugar makes the goo taste really good. Keep it Pumping through the pipeline like a peanut butter pumper should. Takes a lot of little nuts to make a jar of peanut butter. Now they're ready, squirt them in. Put the lid on, watch them spin. Into boxes nice and steady. Ship them out, hey world, we're ready. Takes a lot of little nuts to get things done. Takes a lot of little nuts and a lot of hard work before the peanut butter is
and slow. Now a little bit faster and away we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> On your mark, get ready, cause here's the plan. We're gonna say the alphabet as fast we can. We, we say A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Take a break. Oh, yeah, I'm down for that. I catch you on the upswing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is because you're an ostrich, and it is a well-known fact that ostriches cannot fly. But an ostrich is a bird, and birds are supposed to fly. And I wanna fly! (laughs) Although the ostrich cannot fly, it is also a well-known fact that he protects himself from his enemies with his powerful, with his powerful, with his powerful, Hey, Mom! There are more ways than one to fly. Did you see that? That was unbelievable! (laughs) This... This you, it like, it like appeared like, like right out of nowhere. It, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Am I dreaming or what? <laughs> K- 
Come on. All right, now that this is really, really crazy, right? Now, like Big Bird and these two kids, like they like walk right through to you. That's unbelievable. I mean, first of all, it's like really, really crazy when like a you like appears out of nowhere, right? Right. But when Big Bird and these kids like walk right through it, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> this is so unbelievable. I mean, this is like the biggest you I have ever seen in my life. And this big bird and these kids are like walking right through it, you know? I gotta try that. <laughs> this is the most unbelievable you I have ever seen in my life. And I just walked through it. <laughs> hey, I just had a thought. The letter U is the first letter in the word unbelievable. <laughs> Hi, big bird. Hi, Ricky. Hi, kids. Hi, Ricky. I just walked through a U. It's Unbelievable! Hello there. I'm here to tell you about the letter U. It looks like a horseshoe. No, well, it isn't. No, it's a letter. See, the letter U. U is a nice letter. Got a nice heft to it. I'll put it back. No, U is a very important letter. I got a very important letter once. It was from my uncle. The word uncle begins with a letter U, see? Is that a fact? I wish I'd known that at the time. Oh, U is a great letter, and it's used all the time. Not too many words begin with it, of course, but lots of words kind of use it in the middle. Uh, how about near the end of a word or near the beginning? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. U can be used almost anywhere. You can start words with it, use it in the middle toward the end. It's kind of an all-purpose letter. Okay, I'll take it. How much is it? Oh, it's not for sale. Oh, no, 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 it's uh, free. Oh, well, what's the catch? You got to order so many a month or something? Uh, no, there's no catch. No, no, U is free. See, all the letters are free. That's one nice thing about them. We've got 26 letters in the alphabet, and they're all free. You can make all the words you want to out of the letters at absolutely no cost. Uh, are they reusable? Oh, you can use letters over and over. Gee, what a swell idea. Yeah, well, thank you. I got to be going now. Hey, well, hey, you forgot your suitcase. Oh, uh, that's not mine. Not your suitcase? It belongs to the letter U. I wonder what would happen if I took this bag of ping-pong balls and emptied it on the floor. There. 
And what would happen if I took this bag of ping pong balls and emptied it on the floor and they landed near my sleeping cat? Wow! Ooh. And what would happen if I took this bag of ping pong balls and emptied it on the floor and they landed near my sleeping cat? Wow! And he runs and knocks over the parrot. Police! Crackers! Wow! And what would happen if I took this bag of ping pong balls and emptied it on the floor and they landed near my sleeping cat? And he runs and knocks over the parrot. Police! Crackers! Phew! Would my mother be mad? Oh, Kitty, now look what you've done. Now out you go. And she'd put the cat out, and I'd feel bad because it wasn't the cat's fault at all. Um, I guess I won't empty this bag of ping pong balls because I love my cat. This man is a problem sleeper. He tosses, he turns, yet he cannot relax to get the sleep he needs. Millions like him have discovered an amazing new method that works. Counting. Safe, natural, counting has proven its effectiveness night after night. I'll give you 10 seconds to get out of my bedroom. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, if you have trouble falling asleep, try counting. It's as easy as one, two, three. Oh, oh, get it. Oh, uh, oh, I have just invented the perfect robot. He's almost human. Oh, he can do the very same things you can. You watch. He can be sad. <laughs> TV? Yeah. Yeah. Well, is your favorite program coming on now? Oh, good. Goodness, I wonder what show it is. I guess there's still a broken one there, Telly. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, hello. This is Telly the Monster, and I'd like to welcome you to Sneak Peek Previews. 
Uh, yeah, well, this is Oscar, and I would like not to welcome you to sneak peek previews. So, get lost. Oscar? That isn't nice. Hmm. Who said anything about being nice? All I have to do is look at some silly movie. Oscar, it's not silly. <laughs> I happen to like this movie. Yeah, well, like I said, it's a silly movie. Roll it, Ralph. Those ostriches sure can dance. <laughs> they must have practiced that for a long time. You gotta be kidding. Why, that was the worst dancing I've seen in ages. They didn't even step on each other's feet. And the music was rotten. Rotten? Yeah. Well, I thought it was beautiful. In fact, I like the movie so much that I give it a full five wow rating. That's right. Wow, wow, wow. Wow! Wow! Eh. Well, I thought it was pretty terrible. All of it. But I have seen worse, so I'll have to give it a uh, one and a half fooey rating. Fooey. Foo. Hmm. And I still think it was silly, too. Oh, how can you say it was silly? Eh. Those birds worked hard on that dance. I thought they were just excellent. Eh. Fooey. Wow! Fooey! Wow! Oh yeah? Fooey! Wow! Fooey, fooey, fooey! Wow, wow, wow! Fooey, fooey, fooey! Wow, 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 wow! Be sure to tune in next time for Snoop Peak Previews! I myself agree with Oscar! Boy, Oscar and Sally sure argue a lot. <laughs> argue about a nice little film like that nice little film <laughs> i thought it was kind of silly what do you mean silly i thought it was lovely lovely oh come on maria you know, you're beginning come to sound on. just like oscar you know you just sound just like kelly well that's not bad i'd rather sound like kelly you know you just so ill light <laughs> oh my god Ill. <laughs> to get to the other side. Oh, I get it. <laughs> to get to the other side. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> well, Bert. Hey, Bert. I brought home a surprise, Bert. Uh, uh, that, that's nice, Ernie. And, and Bert, you're going to guess what it is. Oh, Ernie. Uh, just, just tell me, okay? But, Bert, if I told you what it is, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Besides that, this is going to be a lot of fun. You ready, Bert? Huh? I say, are you ready, Bert? <sighs> okay, okay, Ernie. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a, a clue, okay? Your first clue is that it's... It's little, Bert. Little? Mm-hmm. Ernie, what kind of clue is that? That could be anything. Well, it, it couldn't be Big Bird. <laughs> no, it but, couldn't be. But, but I'll give you another clue. It's little and... And it's cute, Bert. Ernie. And it has four legs. Wait, little cute and has four legs. 
I know, two pigeons. <laughs> You're not trying. No, oh, listen, this cute little four-legged creature has a waggly tail and a cold nose. Uh, a waggly tail and a cold nose. And hmm. it rhymes with guppy. <laughs> with gup. And it sounds like that. It's a puppy! Oh, Ernie! Oh, you're right, Bert. Oh, look See? at him. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's so terrific. Yeah, what do you think we should name him, Bert? Uh, Norman. Norman? Yeah. How about uh, something like Godzilla the Wonder Dog? How about Norman? How about we name him Bert? Hmm? How about Alan? another alphabet chat. Today I'd like to share with you a few of the very special feelings I have about the letter L. Uh, the letter L has always held a private place in my heart, so much so that I have taken pen in hand and written a little poem which I'd like for you to hear. Listen! 
The letter L's a gentle soul. It's found in land and love. And in the middle of such words uh, as calm and turtle dove. Your chair is loose. I gotta fix the loose chair. <clears throat> uh, and even though uh, the L is not in words like peace and deep. Sorry, I missed. You'll find it hiding okay. in words like stilled and pool and sleep. Oh, yes. Let's all thank the gentle L for leaves and lemon drops, for little lads and lassies in a land of lollipops. Bah. All hail. Oh. All hail the gentle lamb. No, uh, all hail the L. Let banners fly. Salute our noble friends. Bah. And thus uh, my poem bah. to the L comes quietly to end. And so does our alphabet chat. Thank you and goodbye. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, K, that's a print then. Okay, Lyle, thanks. Okay, okay. Okay, Lamb, get me on Ron Lama outfit now for the next bit. But I was trying to read my poem and then these interruptions kept happening. What are you doing? Why why do you let this happen to me? I'm I'm a poet of some renown. You can't treat me like this. I just L L Large L L Little Large Little L. Those are little seeds sprouting into plants. Seeds need the soil and the water and the sun to grow. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters L and V, and by the number 9. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.